The whole world is about to end real soon and we can see everything of what's going on nowadays and it can be a scary time. If you are a saved Bible-believing Christian and have come to know the knowledge of Bible-believing truth and the gospel through our YouTube channel, you probably are concerned about everything what's going on or you long for Jesus Christ to come real soon so that we can get out of here. However, that means it doesn't leave much time for you to do something for Jesus Christ and time is very short. Some of you have loved ones and family members that you want to reach. So because things are ticking real quickly and the rapture is coming even closer, it's more urgent than ever that you need to reach somebody out there with the gospel. You might say that you don't know how or you're unable to. Well, some great news is this. I can come near you, believe it or not. Recently, I've started traveling around places and I'm trying to gradually go into other places uh, around the world. And that can include places like South America, Africa, Europe, and Asia, and Australia, and other parts of the world. Now, the thing is, I'm only one man, and as many of you know, our ministry is small. Uh, we are not a mega church, so we don't have all the funds and the labors to send out people there. However, I am friends with other Bible-believing Christians and leaders. They're the one that are able to carry out my dream and my goal. That's the reason why I went on the internet a long time ago, is because I had a burden for lost souls out there and I wanted to reach you. It's amazing how many people that we reach out there, like it's amazing, communist China and the Muslim countries part in Saudi Arabia. And it's so phenomenal and it touches my heart. However, I don't think that I can reach you until these ministries came together. Under the ministry of Dave Darling, who's under the local church of Dr. Kyle Stevens, Blessed Hope Baptist Church, they have launched a campaign called Campaigns for Christ. Their goal is to reach parts around the world and literally, I kid you not, thousands of people become receptive to the gospel and get saved. They just finished their part in, I believe is Brazil in South America, now they're aiming in Malawi, Africa. Lord willing, they can do other places. But some great news is there for some of you who live in Malawi, they're going to come again. And it will be at April. They're going to give you all the instructions and everything you need to know in this following video. Now, please follow the website link that they're going to show to you at the end of this video. Please follow up. They will always have a campaign annually, if not twice a year. If this thing grows even more and more, perhaps the Lord can do something where it can go a couple times a year. But it depends on the labors, it depends on the funds, and it depends on your prayers. What we need right here is labors. This is finally a chance for you to help us out in our ministry. A lot of you have offered to help, wanted to help out, wanted to find a Bible-believing church near you, wanted to somehow give the gospel, but you don't know how. This campaign can help you. If you can just please watch the video, apply online, and please follow their application process. Uh, they're not receptive to weirdos, so I hope you're not one of them. In online, you never know what kind of weirdos you get, right? So if you're not a weirdo, weirdo then apply and hopefully they can receive you and then help you out with the process. What they need is a lot of laborers. May you help them. The world, we don't know when it will end, and but it's coming very quickly. Before everything falls apart and it's too late for you to reach your own country, your own people with the gospel, try to do something for Jesus Christ. This is your only chance that I can give to you to participate. I wish I can do more for you, but this is the opportunity. I hope you won't miss out for it. Join them in their ministry from Dave Darling in Campaigns for Christ.
name is David Robinson, a missionary here in Malawi, Africa. And uh, we're really, really thankful for all that you've done and all that you will do to help Campaigns for Christ be able to come over and just take part in reaching people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. This country is certainly a place where uh, it's still very possible to have large crowds come and sit and listen to the scriptures, listen to the, the gospel being preached. So there's very few uh, people who are willing to take their time and their money to be able to come and do this. And we want to say thank you for what you've done and what you will do in the future to do all you can do to enable them and, uh, and even come yourself if the Lord gives you that opportunity. Appreciate it. Hi, I'm Dave Darling, director of the Campaigns for Christ. We're here in Malawi, Africa with our first campaign in Malawi. And it's been a great success. Uh, we've had a great organization with the help of the missionary David Robinson. Uh, we, this is our third meeting. The first two meetings we had approximately 600 people come and 80 or so uh, accept Jesus Christ as their Savior. We actually ran out of scriptures about a day and a half early. We gave out 100,000 uh, books of John and Romans with invitations to come to evangelistic meetings like this. And uh, we're praying about doing two more campaigns. The next one's going to be in April of 2023 and Lord willing in the fall of 2023 in the uh, southern part of Malawi. So we love to get a team of 20 people together for each one of those and bring them over here and just help us distribute the scriptures. Uh, we have 100, 280,000 scriptures ready to ship in the next couple months and uh, what we need, we need some people to come help us distribute them and it's an amazing opportunity. Uh, these people, probably 99 out of 100 people will accept the Word of God and we have great turnouts and I uh, just want to encourage anyone who is thinking about coming to Miss Trip to join us and uh, come and help bear the fruit. Hello, my name is Josh Stevenson. I'm the pastor of Bible Believers Baptist Church in El Cajon, California. Out here with Campaigns for Christ in Mizuzu, Malawi and on a missions trip. You can hear the singing going on behind us. We've got a meeting that's going on right now. now I'd like to encourage you if you're thinking about going on a missions trip, you ought to go with Campaigns for Christ. Everything is organized, set up very well. You'll get a great opportunity to be able to get out gospel tracts, get out scriptures. You, uh, we've got to see many people come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Uh, it is something that will change your life. I know it has changed my life. It has opened up my eyes even more to missions. And I would like to encourage you, if you're thinking about going on a missions trip, or maybe this is the first time you're thinking about it, uh, you really ought to try to go if you're able to. Uh, start praying about it, the campaigns that are going on here in Malawi. Uh, there's a great vision here for this, uh, this country. And so please pray for the future missions trips that will happen here. And uh, hopefully one day you'll be able to be a part of it. God bless you. Hi, I'm Pastor Kyle Stevens, pastor of Blessed Hope Baptist Church in Coon Rapids, Minnesota. Our church is also the home for Campaigns for Christ. And we just finished the Malawi campaign of August 2022. We got out over 100,000 uh, gospel, uh, or John Romans, as well as uh, campaign flyers. We had three separate meetings. Uh, each meeting, in this case, uh, drew around 500 people. We saw a large number at each meeting come forward for an invitation, and the uh, locals uh, dealt with them in their own language, and we're confident that quite a large number received Christ as their Savior. But this campaign has been a, it's been hard work and all those things. A ton of stuff has to come together. It certainly uh, takes the Lord to do it. But we've had a great time. We're just getting on the bus now to head back to the airport. We have a four hour drive in front of us. But the uh, two weeks we were here was, it was hard work, uh, very intense, um, lots of uh, uh, changes and alterations, but it was just very, very good and in the end, as you get ready to go home, you realize the Lord has done some things uh, in the lives of other people as well as your own that you're just not going to get by sitting at home. And while it's great to support missions, to go on a mission trip that's not a cultural exchange or just a, uh, something to, uh, where you go pass out tracks and uh, you know, tour an orphanage or something like that, to really go and try to put the Word of God out on a large scale. The missionary here, Brother Robinson, is confident that this really shook Mizuzu, which is the city we were in uh, for the last two weeks. And we've basically been in the suburbs of other cities as well. But 
three major meetings and it was just really great. I would just encourage all that could do it. It'll make a change in your spiritual life, your Christian life, and you'll get to sow some, some rewards in heaven. Yeah, um, my name is Daniel Nirenda. I'm the pastor for Charity Baptist Church. And I'm so glad today, uh, after finishing a great campaign for Christ um, evangelism program, where we have passed out 100,000 uh, John and Romans books with the gospel at the back of it. And you know what impact that is? That's a great impact. And we have registered people who would follow up on discipleship classes later on. Almost 200 people have already registered and people are still registering. That's a great impact right there. And we've had in the meetings over maybe 200 or 400 people getting saved in, uh, in, in those three meetings. We are so thankful for the people that have come from the United States. Um, from America, we, we, that was a real great visitation. And I would like to ask you if you are out there uh, for the next campaign that will be happening in Lilongwe, please come through or do something about it. Help us so that we can do this work. It involves a lot of work. You know, we had to involve other pastors from Malawi who had to come in here and help out so that we can pass all those trucks. It involves a lot of work. So we really need your help so that you can actually come and help out and pass out those gospel tracks. Well, uh, those not gospel tracks, but the John and Romans. So it is a great time. I would love to see you next year when we're having another campaign. Please have a blessed time. Thank you.